Hello everyone and welcome back to Europeify. I hope you all are doing pretty really great. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about a thing that still fascinates me in Europe, even after you know, living here for five years, and that is grocery shopping. And that is because every time I visit a German supermarket, I discover something new, I learn something new. Um, so basically, there are two types of supermarkets in Germany. One is uh, the discounted markets, which is slightly on the budget side, and the other ones are pretty big uh, with size and variety, etc. But are a bit on the you know costly side. Uh, the discounted markets include, for example, Lidl, Netto, Aldi, Penny, etc. And uh, the biggest supermarkets are Rewe, Edeka, and Kaufland. But my personal favorite is Kaufland because it has the highest number of varieties and it is just huge. And so in today's video, I'm going to take you on a tour uh, in a Kaufland in my city. And uh, we'll see like, what are the different grocery options for day-to-day -day use that we get in German supermarkets here. And uh, like what are the costs like and what are the special things about German supermarkets. So. Yeah, come along with me and I hope when you watch this, you are going to enjoy it and also it will give you some information if you are planning to move to Germany. I think that the major thing that you would want to bring along is 150 cent or 1 euro coin that we are going to use to take out a trolley inside the supermarket. So yeah, we are entering the top line, so let's go inside. At the entrance of each supermarket, you have to insert the coin and take out the trolley. Let's start with the fruits and vegetables section. As you can see, there are varieties of apple in green, red color, packaged as well as useful. And the average price is around 1.5 euros per kg. The quality of fruits here is really great. I mean, look at these kiwis, these are so fresh. These are also available both in packaged form as well as loose. The loose ones are normally per piece price, which is called Stuck price in German. Other fruits include pineapple, which is around 2 euros per piece, and then mango. These are not Indian mangoes, but from South America or Brazil but tastes really good. Also papayas are available in both ripe and raw form. Also there are pomegranates which are normally a bit expensive but really good quality. Avocados are really common in German supermarkets. You can also buy both raw and dry banana from various different brands and various different sizes. During summer season, you get these seasonal berries like strawberry, raspberry, blueberry, etc., which are really useful in making smoothies or oatmeal, etc. Grapes are also abundantly available in the German supermarkets, both the green as well as that brown one. And I've seen those normally in these packaged forms. And this fruit which is called plum, I hadn't eaten it back in India. But these are really really tasty and I definitely recommend buying those. Seasonally watermelons are also available. Both in the whole as well as in some of the supermarkets, you get cut pieces of watermelon. Also, you get lemons, oranges of various varieties. Coming to vegetables now, aubergine or eggplant is really easily available in any of the German supermarkets. 
Other vegetables include zucchini, which tastes more or less like loki, pumpkin, varieties of bell peppers, Both white and brown mushrooms. These brown mushrooms are really good for you know Thai curry or be it pasta or fried rice etc. There are also a wide variety of tomatoes available both in bigger and smaller size which is normally used for salads. You can also get things like ginger, cooked corn, carrots, and the radish. Also you get all kinds of cabbages which are normally huge in size here. Also you get cauliflowers which are normally available in per piece price. Also you get these day-to-day -day use vegetables like potato, garlic, onion, all of these in various different sizes, various different measurements and different colors like red and white potato, red onion for salads, white onions in bigger and smaller size as well. Vegetables which are not in packaged form or doesn't have a barcode or are not sold in per piece price, you have these machines in the bigger supermarkets where you have to weigh it and then you get the price of that vegetable and then you attach it for you know showing it to the cashier. Now let's see what are the different types of breads available in German supermarkets because Germany is one of the top countries producing the highest bread in the world. As bread is the staple food here and is a major part of the meals of German people, there is a wide variety of breads that is available in the German supermarkets starting from the white breads, brown breads, whole wheat breads, breads of different other grains sandwich breads and you even get breads to bake at your home but Germans normally don't prefer taking these packaged breads because there is a bakery especially in the German supermarkets which produces continuously fresh breads throughout the day. These fresh bread loaves are an healthier option and there is also a wide variety with oats, with sunflower seeds and with different flowers. And there is an interesting machine in the German supermarkets that cuts these bread loaves into pieces. Just have a look how it does that. <laughs> Apart from the breads, there are also donuts and various different kinds of croissants, pizza slices, etc. Those are freshly baked and refilled into those bakery counters. Canned food is really popular in Europe. You get things like rajma, chole, corn, green beans, green peas, everything in cans and it really saves time for cooking. Coming to cereals, you get a wide range of options 
starting from porridge, cornflakes, muesli, oats, etc. Now let's take a look at the huge frozen food section. In this section you get all the frozen meats, fishes, prawns etc. Normally in the European homes there is an oven and here in this frozen section you also get things which are baking ready like chicken nuggets, chicken wings, its vegetarian counterparts. These days vegetarian food is becoming really popular in Europe so you get a wide range of vegetarian as well as vegan options. Just look out for this logo and that should tell you that this is vegan or vegetarian. Also you get a wide variety of french fries to bake at home. These cut vegetables and a lot of ready to eat dishes, which again saves a lot of food time. Then comes this huge section of frozen pizzas, which are again baking ready. Normally the baking instructions are given in the back side of the package. You can just follow them and have a quick and delicious You also get the frozen peas, frozen green beans, etc. which can be really handy while cooking day to day. And also you get these mix of vegetables from carrot, cauliflower, broccoli, etc. that you can use to, you know, come up with a good soup or some fried rice, etc. Last but definitely not the least, you also get a variety of pies, cheesecakes, even birthday cakes to bake. Meat lovers here arrived at the correct country. There is just a wide variety of food, starting from raw chicken, sausages, even marinated meat is available which is ready for grilling. In bigger supermarkets like Kaufland, there is also a separate section for the fresh meats. With the vegan wave spreading all over Europe, you get a wide variety of meat alternatives these days. Just check this out. When it comes to dairy products, the quality and variety that you get in Germany and for that matter all over Europe is just abundant. 
varieties of cheese paste bread spreads butter different forms of cheese shredded sliced and cubes you need to have it. In yogurt as well, you get a wide range of variety of different fat percentages in different flavors as well as in natural food. In milks, you get these fresh milk bottles as well as the pasteurized tetra packs in only 2 fat percentages, 1.5% and 3.5%. And for lactose intolerant and vegan folks, you get milks from other sources like almond, rice, oat, soya and coconut. For personal hygiene products, normally there are separate drug stores like DM, Rossman, Miller. But in big supermarkets like Kaufland, you get everything starting from shower gels, shampoos to even cosmetics. You might have already known that European countries are known for the quality of their chocolates and it's no different in Germany. You get a wide range of variety and brands like Lindt, Ritter Sport and Milka. These are really popular here. And look what I found here, the good old dairy milk. You get all the household items like kitchen accessories, baking supplies, pots, pans, storage, cleaning tools, etc. So this can be your one-stop shop when you arrive in June. And German supermarkets are incomplete without their beers. Being the second highest consumer of beers, you get just a wide variety of beers and all the different alcohols here. That's it for today guys, if you like this video don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and also to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. See you next time with a new video, till then, ciao!